I just talk so fast. Fact about me. Cheers to YouTube. Cheers to doing the damn thing. Ain't nobody but that. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Choi John. So for today's video, I wanted to do a get to know me just for my new subscribers because I see that I've actually gained 25 new subscribers and I feel like they came from like Bosana's page. If you guys are Bosana's followers and you decided to actually give me a subscribe, thank you so much. Welcome to the fam, even though it's a very small family right now. Still welcome. I guess the reason why I wanted to do like a get to know me is just to, just so you guys can like get to know me like a little bit better for like the people who have no clue or no idea who I am and even for like my subscribers who actually do know me in person just a chance for you to get to know me just like a little bit better so make sure that you guys stay tuned and watch all the way till the end don't be phony I literally try to make these videos so short for you guys so you can somewhat try to stay engaged and like watch all the way till the end but if you don't I'm not even gonna blame you because I feel like I'm just like not the most entertaining person but I'm like trying so yeah Let's get into it. Okay, so the first fact about myself is that I'm actually low-key slash high-key kind of shy. And I feel this might come off as a surprise to people who know me in person. Because I think most people think that I'm actually very outgoing and not a shy person. But I really am. I think it just depends on the situation that I'm in. If I'm going to be more reserved or like outgoing. Because I used to think to myself as well, I wasn't like a very shy person. And kind of like talk to whoever and kind of like do whatever. But this year has kind of taught me that I am a shy person. It really depends on the environment and my confidence and my comfortability on my surroundings and where I'm at. So yeah, I've realized I'm actually very shy and like some people may find it uncomfortable because if I don't want to speak like I'm not going to speak and that makes actually some people like very uncomfortable people who actually really know this is like my family members like I may be like very talkative but like I'm only really talkative when I'm like comfortable so it's like if I'm not comfortable I'm not really gonna say much and that makes a lot of people like uncomfortable because I think I just come off as aloof and that like really bothers people because I just seem like so unbothered or like I don't care but I just literally don't have anything to say and I'm not gonna force a conversation. Like that's just not like not me. But it's like when I am comfortable and I when I am in my prime, I'm just I'm a Leo and just like imagine how Leo is. I'm kinda just like everywhere, I'm very talkative, like center of attention, like don't even really mean to. It just happens, so don't come for me. But the second fact is that I'm so camera shy, it just kills. It actually hurts my heart how much I'm so camera shy, like you guys, a lot of people would be scared here. A lot of people would be scared here. A lot of people would be scared here. A lot of people would be scared, and I'll name them. And Troy John is one of them. Like, I am so afraid of the camera, and this is literally why I like procrastinate so much to put out videos because it's like in my head I get so pumped, so excited, so like everything to be able to film, and then it comes down to filming, and I'm just like, hmm, like my battery just like dies. That's why like most of the time I even come in here and I just sound so monotone like I don't care or you know what I mean like it's like again I'm just trying to make it like give off like the impression that like I'm not I don't know it's just like annoying the camera shy like even when it comes to like taking photos I get like really scared that's like my Instagram is a little bit dry but like I literally have been forcing myself because I'm trying to do this whole like be an influencer for me to be an influencer I have to be on social platforms so I've been trying to like really push myself within the past couple months so out of my comfort zone me even asking people to actually take my photos has taken a lot from me just because i feel like i never know how to pose do you know what i mean you know those ones it's like when you do want to take a photo but camera just intimidates you so much and you just get so awkward like you don't know how you're gonna pose that is how i am when it comes to photos like i can take my own photos but when other people take photos for me i just get really nervous and really shy i just don't know how to pose or really how to conduct myself so i always would rather not like a lot of people like don't get that because I have always told me, you should go into modeling, you should go into modeling. And I'm like, I literally cannot. I'm the most awkward person ever. Like, I can take my own photos, but people taking photos for me, like, it's not a thing. It's like, I literally would have to learn how to pose. Like, that's the only way. But rather than that, like, I'm really camera shy. Well, the third fact about myself is that I fold under pressure. Me and pressure do not go well together. And what I mean by pressure, I mean, like, having to like public speak or like anything within like that matter like I'm really bad at it I just get so nervous I just get so in my head like, I don't like a lot of eyes on me so I literally blank like, I can't even think on my feet I literally just have nothing to say like, I just get so nervous you turn up that pressure and I am I'm folding like, if you think that I can perform under pressure like I literally cannot I can't like, I can't I just get so nervous I get so anxious I can't even think and I just I actually genuinely like shut down like I can't 
do it and like again when i shut down like my shutdown just comes off as like i don't care but like i do care i just i'm just trying to like come off as i don't so i can like cool my nerves and that i don't look like like i'm freaking out because the other one is just gonna be like me crying but like i'm extremely bad under pressure like i hate public speaking like i hate when I, like a lot of eyes like are on me and then again it's like weird because if you know me like you wouldn't really think that but then like i said again it all just depends on like comfortability and what i'm good at like i'm the type of person i can't fake it until i make it i'm the type of person it's like if i know that i'm good at something like i know that i'm good at it and like i won't be scared to do it because i know that i'm good at it but it's like more so when it comes to like something that i've like never done before and it's like a gray area like i don't like to do that stuff like under pressure fact number four i talk extremely fast i know you guys have probably already caught on but i literally don't breathe when i talk like i literally say Grr! like everything just trying to get it out as if i'm gonna like forget my train of thought i just speak so fast like i naturally already talk kind of fast like i'm trying to like work on slowing down but i'm convinced like i talk from my like i talk from my throat and not from my diaphragm you know what i mean so like everything just comes out like so quickly like sometimes i don't even like process like what i'm saying i'm just like it just seems like I'm talking and I'm just like trying to get it out before I like I forget anything but like I talk naturally already pretty fast but I talk so much faster when I'm nervous like if you can't even understand what I'm saying now imagine me trying to public speak just imagine it's a mess like, I actually hate public speaking like it's it's just a mess like I just talk so fast so I'm hoping what this YouTube channel like it'll just teach me to like relax all the flowers breathe a little bit you know what i mean and just like kind of like slow down because that's something that i've actually been wanting to change for a long time is that like i talk really fast and i just want people to be able to hear me like i'm tired of people always saying i'm sorry can you say that again like what 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 like i want people to actually hear me clearly and like understand what i'm saying so the next thing that i want you guys to kind of like know about me is that i am 23 years old <laughs> young <laughs> i'm 23 years young i'm not gonna say old because it just seems that i don't know like everyone in their 20s who's getting older just seems like they're freaking out freaking out and i just don't want to be in that like you know what i mean like i want to be happy i want to be content with my age i think i'm always going to celebrate myself getting older because i just don't want to feel like me getting older is like me like one foot in the grave you know what i mean like i just still want to be like content with my age i live in canada so i'm actually originally from edmonton alberta but in 2016 i moved to windsor ontario to go to school here and i've been here for like four years but i always go back in the summer for four months and then i pretty much like come back to windsor for like the remainder of the school year so windsor has been somewhat actually more of my home than alberta in the past like four years since i've been getting my like degree this is actually the last year of it because I'm on my fourth year and I've honestly just have finished. It's been, it's been a lot. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, it's been a lot. <sighs> when I tell you I had the worst last year ever, I'm getting really emotional just thinking about it. It just like really opened my eyes and just like, you know what i'm not even gonna get into it but yeah so short the program i'm in it's gonna honestly have to be for like a whole nother video if you guys really want to know what my university experience was like and even if you really don't i think i would put it out regardless because i just feel like a lot of young black students who are going into university need to know what it's really actually going to be like so yeah that's my program i'm a leo but yeah i'm a leo i'm super proud that i'm a leo I love being a Leo. Um, I feel like the last fact I'm probably going to like end you guys with and the last thing that you probably need to know is that I'm from South Sudan. Nor gang or no gang. It, a lot of my students folks were kind of wondering what tribe I was from. That's the tribe I'm from. But yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Probably the next time I decide to do a get to know me, hopefully you guys will actually kind of be more interactive on my Instagram. And I'll probably do just like a questions like post. You guys can send me your questions and I'll reply like with my answers. If you guys have like specific questions that you actually kind of like want to know or you want me to answer. That pretty much concludes my get to know me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. You guys actually better be subscribing. You better be subscribing. Because I'm going to be really mad if you guys actually don't subscribe. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.